We also have Dr. Sudhir Bhandari to get experiences from all over the country. Dr. Bhandari is the principal of the Savai Van Singh Hospital, the SMS hospital uh, from Jaipur. Now, uh, Dr. You have been leading the fight in Rajasthan against the coronavirus. What is the situation there now? Because we see a steady increase in the number of cases again. Yes. Uh, truly, it is not. In fact, Rajasthan, we have been handling COVID very effectively with the increasing number of patient recovery and decreasing death rate. In the March, when we started handling the COVID patient, at that time, our mortality rate was around 2 to 3 percent and you'll be happy to know that now our mortality rate has come down to 1.4 to 1.45 percent. The challenge is that we have improved a lot in COVID management program. Our infrastructure has developed. We are picking up the patients very early. We are treating patients very intensely. And if we can manage the early diagnosis and early management, we can further reduce the increasing number of cases. One way, it is a very strange paradox. We have improved our capabilities to meet out COVID patients. We have improved the infrastructure. We are using the top of the line treatment to make the patient feel better. But at the same time, it is coupled up with non-cooperation of public at large. Why Corona is spreading so much? because people are taking very casually. There's a lot of interpersonal spread. We have improved our treatment modalities. We have improved our infrastructure. We have using top of the line of the drugs. Patient with the critical lung involvement also, they are improving. There's a markedly decreased mortality, but more and more new cases are coming. Just like Dr. Sethi said, that you go for a drive, you'll find most of the people without mask, most of the people hanging the mask below the chin, but not covering the nose and mouth. We, unless get the total cooperation of people at large, I think we are not going to contain it. So I think if there is a combination of increasing capabilities to treat COVID, best of infrastructure to keep COVID, the managing the COVID with the newer modalities of treatment, we are the pioneer in country in plasma therapy, as well as the COVID management treatment modalities. Another important thing I would like to convey to the people at large that don't be dependent on simple RT-PCR. This RT-PCR, which is done through the throat and the nose, has a sensitivity of only 70%. Many people who have mild symptoms with RT-PCR negative, they become casual. They should not be because in 30% of the cases, RT-PCR may be negative in spite of they harboring the virus. Number one. Number two, it is very important to pick up early complications and many of the people should resort to the advice given by doctor for CT scan of chest. The chest CT scan picks up the lung involvement much before it is visible on the x-ray. Thirdly, people at large, along with using mask, social distancing and the frequent hand washing should bank upon the pulse oximeter. The Pulse oximeter is a very important tool which people should use if they find the fall in oxygen saturation by more than 4% or the oxygen saturation falling 90 or below, they should immediately report to the doctor. So if we follow these protocols of early reporting, early diagnosis, a proactive treatment may tide over all the consequences of corona. I can reassure you. If people follow the masking protocols, probably we can lead a normal life with markedly reduced incidence of corona. So my only message to people at large is that Wear with the mask. mildest symptom, contact a doctor. Preferably, you don't take things lightly if your COVID test is negative. Bank lot on HRCT chest, which is a very diagnostic and has a sensitivity up to 98% and pick up disease early get it managed scientifically okay. and you have a moral responsibility to I think, I think these ensure are, that these people are, at large have mask, mask, mask. By masking, you will avoid the infection. Very, this very, is very important, important point. Very important Secondly, points that have been those made. Those people yeah. who have the other chronic diseases, or those people, especially we have to save our parents and grandparents. 
our friends and neighbors who have chronic diseases like blood pressure, diabetes and heart problem. My strong advice to the diabetic patients because India has 18 to 20 percent people are either diabetic or they are pre-diabetic. They are the one who would catch the virus much early. Hence all the diabetics and pre-diabetics has to have masks once they step out of That's the house. True. I think, I, think, I, think, I think what distancing. Dr. Deshmukh and Dr. Bhandari seem to be shopping, saying, it's, it's, it's very clear, uh, Mr. Bachchan, yeah. all that needs to be done, and Dr. Shetty also said, wear a mask. That's it. Yeah, very simple. Wear something very simple. simple something yeah. I think you'll have to get angry again. <laughs> Just like the polio campaign, you'll have to scold people into wearing yeah. a mask. <laughs>